Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two easy problems for you and the first problem is in humans normal color vision is dominant to red-green color blindness and X-linked trait to parents produce daughters who are all carers and sons who are all normal. What are the probable genotypes of the parents? So not much choice whether the female mother can be carrier or normal for both uh, X chromosomes or father may have defective X chromosome. So not so many choices, this is easy problem. And we can uh, see such a pattern when a father of the children would have defective X chromosome. So I use uh, red color to designate this chromosome. And of course his genotype would be XY and mother of the children would have two normal X chromosomes. In this case, what we can expect? In the progeny, take a look, simple Punnett square is going to help us to understand this problem. So in the progeny, we expect that here, uh, daughter would inherit uh, defective X chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side. And here we also expect this daughter inherit um, defective X chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side. And all the sons are going to uh, get normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. And as you see, uh, in this family, all children are going to be phenotypically normal. Sons are all going to be normal. Daughters also would have normal vision, but would be carriers. So this is how easy we can solve this problem. And now let's move to the second problem. In humans, the condition for normal blood clotting is dominant to the condition of hemophilia. These alleles are X-linked. Uh, if a male hemophiliac uh, has a child with a woman who is a carrier for hemophilia, what are the chances that uh, a son will be normal for blood clotting? Again, let's use uh, different colors to designate normal and defective um, chromosomes. Of course, not the whole chromosome would be defective, just one allele on it. So uh, we know that uh, father is homophiliac, so we use red X to designate uh, this defective um, chromosome and normal Y. So this is father side. Let me read again the problem. These alleles are X-linked. If a male hemophiliac has a child with a woman who is a carrier, so woman is a carrier, so also has this defective allele on one of the chromosomes. So her genotype would be as follows. Now again, let's build simple Punnett square and let's see what we can expect in this case. This child would get defective X chromosome from mother side and defective X chromosome from the father side. Uh, this child would get normal X chromosome from the mother side and defective X chromosome from the father side. This child is going to get defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So what are the chances that son will be normal for blood clotting? And as you see, 50% of the sons uh, would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So the answer would be 50%, not one quarter, because the question is not about all the children, but uh, about uh, just one child. And by the way, if the question would be uh, about uh, the children, the answer would be 50%. Uh, this female would be carrier, but because this is um, 
X-linked recessive genetic disorder, so her phenotype would be normal. So in, in such a family, 50% of the children would be affected, 50% would be not affected. And again, if we just take uh, males, uh, boys in this family, we expect that 50% would be normal and 50% would have this genetic disorder. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.